Welcome to our lecture online. In our next example, we're going to use the quotient rule. Yes, indeed, even with partial derivatives, we still have to follow the, the rules of derivatives. And let's see what that looks like for a partial derivative. And again, we're going to first do it with respect to x and then with respect to y. The partial derivative of the function with respect to x is equal to, since it's a quotient, we take the denominator, x plus y, times the derivative of the numerator, but again, this is the partial derivative of the numerator with respect to x, so minus y is a constant, that can be ignored because the derivative of the constant is zero, and the partial of x with respect to x is simply equal to one, so that's times one minus the numerator, which is x minus y, times the derivative of the denominator, again, with respect to x only, and it's a partial derivative, so the plus y becomes a constant, the derivative of constant is zero, and the partial derivative of x with respect to x is equal to one. And when, then we divide that by the denominator squared, the quantity x plus y squared. Now we have to simplify that and see what we get. This is equal to x plus y minus x plus y, divided by the quantity x plus y squared. And notice that x minus x, the x's cancel out, we have in the numerator 2y divided by x plus y quantity squared. And that will be the partial derivative of the function with respect to x. Now let's do it again with respect to y. The partial of the function with respect to y is equal to, we take the quotient rule, that means we take the denominator, x plus y, whoop, it's not a good looking y there, y times the derivative of the numerator with respect to y. So x becomes a constant, the derivative of x therefore is zero, and the derivative of minus y is a minus one. Minus, so the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator, x minus y, times the derivative of the denominator with respect to y, the derivative of x is zero, the derivative of y is one times one all divided by the denominator squared, x plus y quantity squared. Again, we have to simplify the numerator. This is equal to minus x, minus y, minus x, and plus y. All divided by the quantity x plus y quantity squared. So simplified, notice that the minus y plus y cancels out, minus 2x divided by x plus y quantity squared, and this would be the partial derivative of the function with respect to y. And that's how we use the quotient rule using partial derivatives.